In this video, we are going to learn about magnitude comparator. This magnitude comparator circuit will be used to compare two 4 bit binary numbers. Hence, the input of this circuit will be 8 bits, wherein 4 bits will be one number and another 4 bits will be other number. The outputs of this circuit will be less than equal to and greater than. So when we are comparing two numbers, we can uh, give the relation between those two numbers as a greater than b, a less than b or a equal to b. So if we are giving the block diagram of magnitude comparator like this, a and b we are comparing because we are representing a and b as 4 bit numbers. A is represented as A3, A2, A1, A0, B3, B2, B1, B0 for B. So the output could be A less than B or A equal to B or A greater than B. So only one of the output could be one at a time. So how we are going to determine whether two bits are equal or not? Here what is the logic behind developing the circuit for this? So when we are comparing two uh, numbers, how can we say that one is less than or greater than or equal to the other number? Now if I say like A3 and B3 we are considering, we are going to compare from that is from left hand side to right hand side. So first I will compare A3, B3. If these two numbers are equal, then only we are going to compare A2 and B2. And then if these also are equal, then only we will compare A1 and B1 and then A0 and B0 finally. So here we can say that A equal to B when A3 equal to B3, A2 equal to B2, A1 equal to B1, A0 equal to B0. So how can we like uh, determine whether two bits are equal or not? Which gate can be used? It is nothing but X nor gate. So the expression x3 we are taking as an output for the expression as a3 b a3 bar b3 bar plus a3 b3 so x3 will become 1 when a3 and b3 are 1 or both are 0 so whether uh, a3 b3 are 0 or 1 if both are equal x3 will become 1 similarly we will say x2 is 1 when a2 and b2 are equal x1 is 1 when a1 and b1 are equal and x0 is 1 when a0 and b0 are equal. So when all x3, x2, x1 and x0 are 1 then we can say that a equal to b. So that is a expression which shows that a is equal to b. Now let us give the expression for a greater than b. So here there are different cases where a could be greater than b. So when we are comparing from L, L left hand side, A3 and B3 we are comparing first. So in this case, first time itself if we want to say that A is greater than B, then A3 should be 1 and B3 should be 0. Because we are having only two bits, 1s and zeros. So A3 could be 1 and B3 is 0. This is one case where A can be greater than B. So A3 1 and B3 0 means we can represent that in the form of expression as A3 B3 dash. And the next case is we have to compare A2 and B2. We compare A2 and B2 when A3 and B3 are equal. So when A3 and B3 are equal we can say that X3 is uh, used. So X3 is 1. So X3 here indicates that a3, b3 are equal. So we are comparing a2 and b2 bar. Uh, a2 and b2. And similarly, the other case is x3, x2 are 1. That is both a3, b3 and a2, b2 are equal. Then we will compare a1 and b1. So this case we will consider a1 is 1 and b1 is 0. So a1, b1 bar. And finally, last case a0, b0 bar. So what is the use of giving x3, x3, x2, x1 in these cases is let us say let us consider some example as 1, 0, 1, 1. A is 1, 0, 1, 1. Let us consider B as 0, 1, 0, 1. So in this case we say that A3 and B3 when we compare A3 is 1, B3 is 0. So I will say that A is greater than B. 
and if I don't include these cases, what will happen? A2 is uh, uh, 0 and B2 is 1. So, in such a case, A2 is A less than B, it will be coming. So, A less than B will also be 1. So, if we don't include this, for the same numbers, we will get A is greater than B and also A is less than B. So, that is the reason why we include X3 here and X3, X2 here and X3, X2, X1 in this case. Similarly, we can write the expression for A less than B. So, that is A, A will be 0 and B will become 1 in this case. So, A3 bar B3 plus X3, A2 bar B2 plus X3, X2, A1 bar B1 plus X3, X2, X1, A0 bar B0 is the expression for A less than B. Now, if we are uh, drawing the circuit using this three expressions, A equal to B, A less, greater than B, A less than B, then we are going to can get the circuit for magnitude comparator. That is how the circuit is. We can even extend this magnitude comparator which is designed for 4 bit numbers to 8 bits. So here as we already know that we will be comparing first MSB 4 bits. So that is X7, Y7, X6, Y6, X5, Y5, X4, Y4 will be compared. So here uh, we will get either x is less than 1, x equal to y or x is greater than y. So, initially before this we will be considering that it is a equal to b or x is equal to y. So, these uh, output whatever we get from this particular MSB magnitude comparator will give that input as uh, i of a is less than greater than b, i of a equal to b, i of a less than b. So, based on this we are going to get the final output. So, suppose if you say like this is equal to then uh, this equal to and then this will be compared. Finally, based on this particular result it will be giving the output. Suppose if we are getting i greater than uh, i a greater than b here itself then directly we can say that x is greater than y uh, as the output of the fi um, finally also. Suppose if it is a less than b, then uh, final output also will be ax less than y. If it is a equal to b, then the output depends upon lsb 4 bit numbers. In this fashion, we can extend the number of bits to any number required. Now we will see how to design magnitude comparator using binary parallel adder. So we all know that this is binary parallel adder which performs subtraction operation. And a comparison we can know that uh, it can be performed using subtractor. When we perform two complement subtraction, we know that C4 indicates whether X is greater than Y or X is less than Y. X is greater than Y if carry is there and also it depends upon the sum result S3, S2, S1, S0. So when this is not equal to 0, and C4 equal to 1, then we can say that X is greater than Y. So, here we consider that S3, S2, S1, S0. If any one of these is equal to 1, this output will become 0. So, here uh, this will become 1 and C4 is 1. So, X is greater than Y. Similarly, if C4 is equal to 0 and this is not equal to 0, then we can indicate that it is X is less than Y. If all inputs are zeros then output of the NOR gate becomes 1 and so the input of this AND gate becomes 1. C4 also is 1 and we can say that X is equal to Y. So this is the way how we design magnitude comparator using binary parallel subtractor.